Okay, so now I'm going to demonstrate how to do a speech number three, an informative speech on past speeches. But I'm not going to go straight through for five minutes. It's going to take longer than that because I'm going to ask you questions about what I'm doing and explain what I'm doing and give, give some background. So let's pretend this is speech three and I'm starting out. I start out by asking you all, except those who already know, do you know who this person is? Anyone know who the person might be? Wayne. Hello, Keller. Have you been on on the website? I told you not to <laughs> speak up if you well, knew she was before anyway. Yeah, yeah. You, you would have known anyway. Okay. It's Helen Keller. Now, if you hadn't known that this was Helen Keller, I would have had a backup. I would have go to. I would have gone to step two and shown you another picture. That has a hint in it. That picture would have been this one. Zoom in on it a little bit. So, what's the hint? Braille. Yeah, she has her fingers on an open book that she's not looking at. And if you hadn't figured it out from then, I would have shown you this picture that has the same hint in it. This is when Helen Keller graduated from Radcliffe College in about 1912. <coughs> All right. Now, no, not 1912, maybe 1904, something like that. Anyway, that would be the start. Then I would ask you a question. I would say, All right, so now you've identified this person as Helen Keller. I'm assuming all of you have heard of Helen Keller. But let's consider what we know about her and how we feel about her. What do you admire about Helen Keller? Perseverance. Rebecca, was that you? Okay, her perseverance. So obviously, everyone knows who Helen Keller was, and you know some things about her, that she had perseverance, strength, and the ability to overcome obstacles. You probably know that she was blind and deaf, almost from birth, not quite. You may know that she wrote a lot of books, including The Story of My Life, which was a bestseller. She wrote that while she was a college student at Radcliffe College. And you might even know that she gave speeches. You probably don't know that. But in reality, what I'm going to talk about in the rest of my five to seven minutes, which aren't my five to seven minutes here, are eloquence and idealism in three of Helen Keller's speeches. Okay, and turn it off. 